welcome my name is Matt or the Beast 34 and today I'll be showing you how to make a free and simple YouTube banner using the online editing software Pixlr. Pixlr E is a good software for beginners and it has a pretty simple UI making it easy to make some quick graphics like this banner we're going to be making. Head to the first link in the description which will take you to the Pixlr's website. Once there, you want to create a new document with the proper YouTube dimensions. Name it whatever you want. Input the proper dimensions, which is 2560 by 1440. Hit create and you will get your document. So next, head to the second link in the description where you can download a YouTube banner template. Uh, once you've downloaded that, hit control O or file open. Find the banner template, then double click it. This box will pop open and just hit original, then hit apply. Now right click the background layer in this layer section over here, hit unlocked. So this way you can modify it. Now hit control C or file copy. Go back to the original document, hit control V and paste it. Now you can close out of that tab because we don't need that anymore. Next, let's add two lines so we can determine what part of the banner will be shown for mobile users. Hit U or hit the shape tool. Then click the line and drag a line at the edge of the dark area here. Make sure it's aligned pretty well. This indicates the end of the YouTube banner for mobile users. If you just messed up like I did, you can always hit Control Z to undo and try it again. Once it's pretty close, you can go back to the move tool by hitting a V. Once there, you can click the two shapes you created. So click this first one, right click, hit locked. Right click this next one, hit locked. You can rename them if you want by again, just right clicking. This way they're locked so we won't accidentally move them or modify them when making our YouTube banner. Now you'll want to delete the middle template area. Grab the marquee tool with M or find it in the toolbar and click it. Now you can drag across the center template area like so. Drag slightly above and below the template area to make sure there is no overlapping in the banner. Once you have something similar to what is on screen now, you can hit the delete key on your keyboard. If that didn't work, make sure that this layer is selected, background copy. Once you ensure that's selected, hit delete. Now hit Control D to deselect, and you can go back to the Move tool with V or by clicking it in the toolbar. Again, now this layer won't be modified any further, so we can lock it by right-clicking Lock. You can, again, rename it if you want. We can delete this layer, which it automatically created, layer one. Uncheck it and recheck it to make sure it's nothing important. I'm gonna delete that with the delete key. Once the middle section is cut out, you can add in your background. I'm going to link at least two backgrounds I made in the description down below. The first one will be this background, which is a quick low poly art I made of a scene from the Modern Warfare trailer. If you want a super high resolution file, more details then hit the respective link in the description where you can purchase it for a couple of dollars. For this tutorial I will drag in the first free background I linked below. If you don't like this background feel free to find a different one or make your own. Once you have your background saved on your computer hit Control o or file open image. Find the file in your file explorer the background. Double click it hit original hit apply and you should have it imported now. Now same thing as before You'll want to unlock the layer like so. Control C, you can X out of that tab, Control V. Now this layer is pasted. Drag this below here, below the template layer. So now your file should look something like this with your background, these two lines indicating the mobile area and the template. Next up is to add our channel text. Hit the text tool in the toolbar on the left hand side or just hit T on your keyboard. Once the text tool is selected, you can click in the center Hit add, type your name, then change the size. I'm gonna change it to about 236 for now. You can always change that later. Change the font, which I probably should have done first, but change the font to Bebas New. Click that and you'll have your name now. I'm gonna go back to the move tool, which is V. Drag this from the side just to make it more organized. And as you can see, I accidentally just moved the background. I'm gonna lock that layer. Go to your background, hit right click and lock it. Now you can click your text, drag it, put it somewhere in the center for now. It's gonna be moved anyway. Now you can add your logo by again, file open, control O. 
open image, find the file. It'll probably be a PNG. Once you have your logo, again, same thing, right click, unlocked, control C, exit out of that, control V. You can resize it by dragging. If in the event that you don't see your logo, that means it is behind a layer. So find the logo file and drag it up here. To make it more organized, I'm just gonna rename it real quick and I will drag it to resize it real quick. I am going to zoom in with the scroll wheel and drag this so it is about the same height as my text. You can use the arrow keys if you want it to be more precise, but that looks pretty good to me. To center the text and the logo with the banner, First off, I'm just gonna make it more simple by dragging the logo layer up there. Once you have these layers right next to each other, they don't have to be, but it's easier this way. Click the logo layer, hold control, click the text layer. Now you have both layers selected. I'm gonna resize it to whatever is decent. Make sure it's within the mobile boundaries, which is these two lines. As you can see, it is overlapping slightly over the character, but it is centered as we can tell by these two pink lines. You can now erase part of the logo. So in order to do this, I am going to look at the logo, see where it's overlapping, uncheck it once you know where it's overlapping. Now I'm going to select the lasso tool, hit polygon, and just trace around this guy here. If you're using a different background, but you still have something that's being overlapped, you can use the same method. The one downside is you can't really undo something with this. So if you mess up and it turns out like this, just hit the move tool with a V and it'll get rid of that and then you can redo it. So again, hit the lasso tool, polygon, just trace around the guy where the logo was overlapping and I'll show you what the meaning of this is in a second. It doesn't have to be exact, but once you have your guy selected by just clicking and dragging around and then clicking again to connect it at the end, you have this area selected. So this way you will only modify what's inside the lines. So now you can recheck your logo like so, click the layer, hit E to get to the eraser tool, and now you just erase the logo. Now control D, V, and as you can see, the logo looks like it's behind the character. So once you have this somewhat like I have on screen right now with your logo, your text, and your background, you'll want to add your social media logos. A good method I found to do this is to go to defont.com, which will be, I think, like the fourth link in the description. It's basically a font, but instead of the letters, it has logos for all the social medias. And you can download it and download the zip file. Once you have that font downloaded, you'll want to find that zip file wherever you saved it. Double click it or extract it. I have WinRAR, so I double clicked it. I found this file, the .otf file, you can drag out the .otf file. The .otf file is the text file, so once you've extracted that from the zip file, go back to Pixlr, hit T to get to the text tool, add a new layer, just hit like A for now. Now you can add local font. So go up to the font section, hit add local font, find that .otf file you just extracted, double click it, so it'll say social media circled font. So click that and you'll have the font now. Now we'll add a new text layer. This is the social media font. So hit delete. If you don't see that, just select the social media font from here. So now you'll want to find which letters correspond with the logos you want. So to do that, just look at the key. So looking at the key, I see that I want the Twitter logo, Instagram logo, and the Twitch logo, which is a lowercase a. So I'm gonna type capital D, capital Q, lowercase a. Capital D, capital Q, lowercase a, and it typed the corresponding logos. So now I double clicked it, and then I add a space actually in between each logo. I think a good size is 45. Hit T, highlight all this, and double click, change that down to like 45. I'm gonna drag this to have it more organized and I'm going to center this with the center of the document. I'm just gonna do some changing. So now to add a gradient, hit T to get to the text tool. Hit the social media logos and zoom in with the scroll tool. Now I'm going to go back to fill gradient and it goes white to black. If you want it to be something else, you simply click this. So I click the white square, hit color, and you change it to whatever you want and then hit okay. I want mine to be white to black, so I'm gonna click that, hit color, drag it to white, click the right one, drag it to black. I'm gonna drag the white forward a little bit, 
if this happens to you, click these little squares and hit delete. I'm going to actually increase that opacity to 100 and increase the black opacity down to like 50. That looks good to me. Now to add a gradient to the text, same thing. Now go to your text layer with T and hit the text layer. Again, hit fill, gradient. So I'll drag this to like here, turn this opacity down. So now it's just a matter of messing around to see what looks correct. Make sure your banner is optimized for mobile users by having it in between these two lines. You can uncheck the two lines by clicking the check mark on the right and left line. So now they are gone. You will want to go with file, save. You can save this as a 100% quality JPG. Name it and just hit download. If you just want to upload this banner, you just hit your channel photo icon. Then you hit change and upload it, but I've already got mine uploaded. If you're on Brave Browser, consider hitting this tip icon and hit send a tip if you want to send some of the free Brave rewards you've earned. If not, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.